Some extreme eaters can be truly horrific. There's strange creatures inundating our world, twisting the emotions of women, distorting our men. Join the hunt for the hiding place of terror. Find the breeding place of these globs of destruction. It's an adventure that'll burst your blood vessels with suspense. Horror movies have thrived on our nightmares about being eaten alive. But there's one animal that's never made it onto the big screen. Yet it lives in our beds and eats more of us than any other creature on Earth. Say hello to the dust mite. It's so small that you can't see it without a microscope. It's lucky the mites are so tiny, since we spend a third of our lives in bed. That means we spend a third of our lives next to two million dust mites that can live in our mattresses. These eight-legged scavengers are number six in the countdown, because every night, they feast on our bodies. Dust mites eat our skin, and each day, we produce an incredible number of skin cells for them to eat. In the next five seconds, you will lose more than 4,000 skin cells. It's perfectly natural. It's part of your body's defense system for you to shed more than a million dead skin cells every hour. But it means that in just one day, the amount of skin shed by the world's human population would fill a four-story house. 80% of the dust you see floating in a sunbeam is actually flakes of dead skin. And this is food for the dust mites that live in your bed. Just like any animal, what goes in must come out. And what comes out of a dust mite is a pellet of digested skin. Each day, about 20 of these tiny pellets join the piles of dust mite carcasses and cast off skins that accumulate in your bed. So tonight, when you go to bed, take another look at your pillow. If it's more than a couple of years old, about 10% of its weight will be from dust mites and their droppings. So let's give thanks to the dust mite, for without this extreme eater removing all those dead skin cells, just imagine how many little bits of your nearest and dearest you'd be inhaling each day. The next contender in our countdown of extreme eaters knows no fear. It's a fish that'll take a bite out of anything in the water. The shark may seem like an extreme eater when you're in the water with one, but there's another fish that eats sharks for breakfast. No fish is safe from the tiny teeth of the cleaner fish. These little fish with big appetites are number five in the countdown because they eat other fish. And incredibly, the fish let them. They're possibly the bravest fish in the world because cleaner fish boldly go where no fish have gone before, often right into the jaws of death. As their name suggests, cleaner fish groom other fish by eating their decaying skin and parasites. Scientists on the Great Barrier Reef 
found a single cleaner can eat 1,200 parasites in a single day, having serviced more than 2,500 fish. So while it may be a lousy job, it seems there's no shortage of clients, as Paul Clarkson from California's Aquarium of the Pacific explains. Uh, it's a bit of a fish car wash, actually. Uh, there will be certain areas of the reef where the cleaner fish will set up, the other animals will come into that section, and that will be kind of a, a no-eating zone where the larger fish won't actually eat these smaller fish. They'll allow them to approach and clean them at those particular stations. Clients hang motionless, spreading their fins to allow cleaners access into those hard-to-reach places. Cleaner fish are number five in the countdown because they don't just chew on fishes. They'll clean up any skin in the neighborhood, including our own. In this Turkish spa, there's something fishy going on. People with skin conditions like eczema and psoriasis have come here to be nibbled on by three types of cleaner fish. There's a striker to eat the patient's flaky skin, a sucker to draw blood, and a healer who uses saliva to dress the wound. After two weeks of fish therapy, the results are said to be miraculous. For when it comes to getting under our skin, nothing does it better than the cleaner fish. Elephants have extremely big appetites. Which is why every day an adult elephant produces over 130 kilograms of dung. Disposing of all this dung is a big job, but it's no trouble for the animal that's rolling in to number four in the... The Dung Beetle, nature's walking waste disposal unit. A steaming pile of fresh dung can attract up to 1,600 beetles. And these extreme eaters can remove it all in less than two hours. We may think that dung is distasteful, but for these beetles, there's fierce competition for the best bits. What can't be eaten on the spot is rolled into a rough ball to become tasty takeout. Dung beetles hide their leftovers in underground larders. It may be hard for us to imagine that a ball of dung could be this desirable, but the world is full of dung nappers. The victorious beetle has another reason for burying this precious food ball. There's nothing like a ball of dung to make a safe, if somewhat smelly, nursery. In here, the baby beetle can grow up surrounded by its pre-digested food. For most people, a mouthful of dung would make you want to spit. Especially if you're in London. It's an unusual place to find antelope dung, but then these are unusual people who put dung in their mouths. But unlike the dung beetle, they don't swallow, they spit. 
this is the ancient African sport of dung spitting. For the winners, there's a prize, a kiss, and a much needed breath mint. But thankfully, the smell of fresh droppings is a real turn on for the hard working dung beetle. Could you imagine the mess if these extreme eaters ever lost their appetite for dung? So far, we've seen bugs rolling poo, fish that can chew, and mites eating you. But coming up, who'll eat this tasty treat? Find out next on The Most Extreme. <laughs> 